Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Garden of Enders. It's been a few days since we did a video, and uh, man, it's just it's been busy. And uh, we wanted to make sure we got one out. So today, I had to come over uh, to the other property, uh, kind of check on some things, uh, make sure everything is looking good. We harvested um, some uh, scallop squash uh, last week from here. And so I want to see if there's any more ready, uh, make sure we don't have any pests or any fungus or anything growing. Uh, it still has been damp out and quite humid. So still powdery mildew and black spot and things like that that can occur on your squash plants. So uh, here to kind of check that out. So let's check it out. All right, guys, we're down here in the garden. I want to quickly show you um, what we've got going on, and uh, it's, it's kind of awesome. So uh, let's check it out. So over here, we've got some jumbo pink banana squash um, growing. Super excited about those. They look great. There's quite a few on here. Um, and there's a couple plants. We don't just have one. And uh, as you move down, uh, we've got some spaghetti squash uh, that's doing really well. Sorry, it is so humid out here and the car was so cold that my lens is fogging. Uh, give me one second, guys. I'm going to try to fix that. Hold on one second. All right, how's that? I think that looks better. All right, so this is a spaghetti squash doing really well. Um, we've got some blue Hubbard squash that's coming in um, right here. Uh, and that's going to bulge out and be a pretty big guy. Uh, so excited about that. And the great news is I don't really see any powdery mildew or any spots. So super excited. Um, don't really need to treat or do anything. Uh, I know preventative is, is good sometimes, but I'm actually going to leave it alone uh, for the moment. And I'll check it again in a couple days. We have another little scallop squash forming here. You can see the bud on the end of it here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and quite a few more starting on this one. Uh, none forming on that plant over there. So I um, wish I would have brought maybe uh, a little bit of some organic phosphorus. Uh, like some bone meal uh, to help. Over here, uh, the watermelon. Look at it. Oh yeah, it's turning out good. This, I believe, is going to be a tender, sweet, orange uh, watermelon. So kind of excited. It gets really big, so I may have to shift it. And we'll put like straw or some bedding material under some of these. And then these, man, these these were so little when we were out here last, but they are getting big. And these are going to be golden midgets, I believe, is what these are. Oh, I'm breaking my sign, yeah. Golden midgets. Um, and as you can see, they've just overflowed the bed which we knew they were going to and that's why I want to put them out here because no one really walks through here um, the corn is done we did okay with the corn honestly you need a bigger block so next year we'll do uh, we'll do more we got some off of it we got like like 30 years so and then over here I know I had another watermelon forming last week over here I just don't remember where and because I'm not seeing it I'm feeling like it didn't make it like it wasn't all the way pollinated um, and these leaves are just so good at hiding stuff so I will not bore you with the search but it is here somewhere uh, like I said or it didn't take so hopefully we'll get some these are just your traditional Dixie Queens um, so this is like what you would see um, at your local grocery store. Um, they're just a, a traditional watermelon. Oh, look, there's another one there. There's more in this bed. Must be better, better over there for some reason. Oh, look, here it is. Here's one. So that's going to be, I believe this is coming off of here. Yes, so that is going to be a Dixie. 
Uh, so there's one. I knew we had more in here. Not sure if this is going to be. I think that is actually coming. No. Hard to sell. Can't follow it. Yeah. That's actually going to be a tender sweet. It has migrated from this bed uh, over to here. So as you can see, guys, we have a lot going on. Um, it's doing good. You know, remember, I don't remember if you remember the videos, but the watermelon was struggling so bad. We, we honestly didn't think we'd get any. So it's going to be a late push, um, but we will have watermelon. Uh, it'll be the end of the year. I think we'll probably be the only people with watermelon um, because of the slow start that they had. Um, but we will have fresh watermelon, and we're really hoping uh, we have family coming to town that uh, we will have fresh watermelon for a party that we're going to have in about five weeks. So really hoping that in the next five weeks we can get one of those guys to go ahead and be ready. That would just be awesome. And it would be awesome if we could get one from each one. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen. It's going to be close, but we will see. So thank you guys so much. We're going to head back over to uh, our main garden uh, and kind of check that out. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done there. But just wanted to give you guys a quick little view at what was going on uh, over here in this garden and uh, kind of the, the, the excitement that's here. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Welcome back. We are, I am, back at uh, the main garden. Um, and so I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of, uh, of what's going on. Uh, there's definitely a lot um, and it's super awesome. Kind of a little uh, walkthrough before that we showed you. Uh, look at this dragon fruit. Oh, it's just growing. I finally had to uh, strap it up. Uh, the other one that I cut, it's actually not doing bad. It, it has shown some growth. Um, this one uh, is growing up pretty well. So super excited. Um, and then the fig. Uh, I didn't transplant it. I'm going to do it next year. But look, I pinched them and I may get one fig off of this tree. So kind of super exciting. There's a bunch more budding, but I think we're going to run out of time um, prior to uh, the first frost. Uh, the asparagus, beautiful as always. Uh, next year, we're super excited. We'll get to harvest that. Um, and then over here, the spinach and the weeds and our volunteer cantaloupe. Man, they've just, they're huge. You know, a uh, great size cantaloupe. I've got quite a few. There's one hiding down there, all over the garden. Uh, some of the stuff is dying off. The cherry tomatoes, were all volunteers. Um, I didn't worry about early and late blight on this because again, uh, it is what it is. And uh, it was a volunteer anyways. Got some more spaghetti squash um, and acorn squash. And look, more cantaloupe. Um, they're just, the cantaloupe is everywhere. There's a bunch in the middle. Uh, over here so super excited about the progress that we've got going on over there doing the early morning watering um, the eggplant and everything is kind of dying back I hit it with another fertilizer got some cabbage planted uh, top dressed it um, so we will see if I can get this to come back a little bit there's still some flowers and some chances um, but it is uh, it's good we're gonna this is where we're gonna put the uh, the zucchini and the squ other squash were here, uh, and so I will be putting all the rest of the cabbage here. Uh, we're going to do that probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow or tonight. I may try to do it tonight. We'll see. The loofah gourd um, is, look at this loofah gourd. How awesome. And they're all over it. Like you guys heard us say many times, like it's not doing anything, it's not doing anything. Bam, it's doing something. Um, the pepper plants are going to need a, uh, a good... Uh, watering today and uh, some picking. My wife is going to take care of that, um, so she'll get that done. Look, our brandy wine yellow, looking beautiful. The tomato plants are still producing, so we're holding on. I top dressed again. The okra is going to get harvested today. Um, it is just um, going crazy. I'm sure you can see that beautiful flower. Um, the green beans are just the purple, um, purple pods. Um, some of the blue lakes. Um, they're all just, I mean, you can kind of see them in here. They're everywhere. So she's coming out now. I think she's making her tea or coffee or something uh, to get ready. The Brussels, they need another spray, and I just top dressed them um, to keep the bugs off. This was early bug bite from the nursery from um, uh, caterpillars, um, the, the cabbage looper landing on them and eating them. So we will get that uh, taken care of. But the garden, look at that loofah gourd. Oh, my God, it's taken over. The sweet potatoes have just taken over. It's crazy. 
Uh, I am going to do a video on um, uh, on what, what causes this on your blueberries. Uh, I will tell you it's a pH um, it's a pH imbalance. It needs more acid. So I'm actually going to fix those. They should be like these here. You see how green these are? See how red those are? So this will, the plant's not dying. Uh, it just, uh, oh look, a little blueberry. One we missed. Oh, can you see it? I'm like not even holding it for a tiny little guy. Mm. Oh, super sweet. A little guy. So everything's doing good. You can see more of these purple green beans. We, we love them. They're, they're so good. The amaranth, I'll probably be harvesting that. I'm sure it's dropping seed everywhere, so we'll have like volunteer amaranth there next year. Um, the basil that I planted is doing... The Brussels sprouts, they're, they're growing. Um, they're doing great. They need another dressing to kind of fight off. Like you can see some of the worms. I don't know if you can see those guys right there. Yep, loving themselves right now. They've got a meal, a feast. So that's kind of what's going on um, this time of year. You know, a lot of people are, are done with their gardening and they're just focused on fall. We still have a lot of spring and summer crops that are going uh, and I'm going to try to keep going. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what's up. Uh, we got our two peaches off of here. I was able to salvage the tree and stop it from being uh, attacked. So that was good. Um, so we'll do a little bit of pruning on the peach tree. The pruning won't happen until... Um, it honestly won't happen until uh, probably um, late March. But other than that, guys, man, it's doing great. Um, the Miracle Berry, I would love to show you. I just don't have time. i got to get ready for work. The Kumquats, the Lemon Tree, it is coming back. We, we did it. We, we have accomplished it. Uh, I told you they were fighters. So this is just kind of an all-around quick tour. Thank you guys uh, so much for tuning in and checking in with us. Sorry the videos have been so sparse. We will be back in. Uh, we will be putting up a video, uh, if not every other day, um, every third day. So we will do whatever we can. I know for a while there we were putting up videos every day, uh, but we will get back into it. Um, it's just been super busy planning for family. Um, so thank you guys so much. And uh, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, if you're getting a lot out of these channels. Um, and, and we'd love to see you back. So thank you so much. Bye.